and it's too big. Uh, let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm gonna make a skinny G now. Skinny G, skinny G. This is gonna be X. Well, let's just copy over the X and Y data. Do our normal calculation on this. I'm just gonna copy it over, paste it right here, and let's insert another column. I'm gonna select the entire column Y or I, right click and insert. And then we're gonna say this is gonna be Z of X. So we're gonna calculate the Z scores. Calculate the Z scores for all the X's, all the Y's, sum them up, divide by the count, N minus one, the count being one, two, three, four, five, six, minus one. All right, so we're gonna say this equals the Z scores calculated brackets, this number, the first X minus the, the mean, I'm gonna say F4 on the keyboard, dollar sign before the letter, the number, the E, the two, so that when we copy it down, that cell doesn't move down, closing up the brackets and dividing it by the standard D, which is the 1.87 F4 on the keyboard. Once again, dollar sign before the E and the three, so when we copy it down, that don't move down. Let's hit enter. Let's decimalize, home tab. Number group, decimalize, double click in the fill handle to drop it down. Let's do the same for the Y's. Why? Because that's how you do stuff. This is going to be the Z of Y, let's say. And then let's format paint it. Home tab, clipboard, format paintbrush, format painting. Calculating the z-scores for all of the y's equals brackets the first one Minus the mean for the y f4 on the keyboard dollar sign before the f and the two So that you don't lose that number when you move it down. Let's divide it then by the standard d For the y f4 on the keyboard dollar sign before the f and the three don't you see let's hit enter and put some dots some decimals here home tab Number group, decimalize, double click in the fill handle to drop it down. Okay, now we'll, we've done the Z's for the X and the Y's. We'll now multiply each of those Z's together. So we're going to say Z of X times Z of Y. And I'll format paintbrush it again. Home tab, clipboard, paintbrush painting it down and then we're going to say this equals z of x times z of y decimalize it home tab number group decimalize and once again dropping it down with the fill handle by double clicking and then let's make all of these a little bit more skinnerized so i'm going to go from h to l h to l so we're going to go there we go and so let's make them a little bit thinner and so okay so then uh we have the whole top bit but i need to sum up this column that'll be the numerator and then the denominator is n minus one so let's make a skinny m and do that last calculation in the n in the n so i'm going to call this calculation the r or core correlation with an e even though it sounds like an a when you do it there's this r r e even though it's sound when i say it i say it with an a sound but that's english spelling for you whatever sum of z x z x times z y you just don't say it right you don't say things good. That's why. Whatever, I say things good. This is going to be the sum. Let's put in the outer column equals the sum brackets of these. I know how to speak. I speak American. Here, anyways. Home tab. Let's add some decimals. Did I sum this? Summing this up. Home tab, number group, decimalizing it. And, it. and well, it comes out to zero. That's the point of our practice problem. I got distracted. So it sums up to zero. And then we're going to say this is going to be the N minus one. Let's put some a colon for our subcalculation. 